Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation of the correct way to trade consolidation patterns. Welcome and thanks for taking time out of your Thursday afternoon to join us. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading and our main job is we teach you how to trade. That's what really what we are all about. We're an educational company and rather than just force feed you with signals and with uh, different ways in which to trade and telling you what to buy and what to sell the way a lot of other uh, companies do. We're more about educating you so that you can empower yourself with all the knowledge and things I've accumulated in my 37 years so that you can ultimately just rely on your own trading decisions and make your own trades for yourself. It's been my experience through my 37 years of trading that the most successful and consistent traders are the ones who make their own trading decisions. So we don't want you to just simply go to a website or a chat room or a trading room or watch on TV and do what someone else tells you to do. It's more about empowering you with this information so that you can make your own trading decisions. It's our opinion that this is what will get you that, to that level of consistency which you've been searching for. Now today I have a great technique, an entry technique to show you how to get consistent in trading uh, uh, these type of patterns. But before we begin Please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you some performance results using these consolidation patterns, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention is I love to take questions, but only at the end of the class. As I stated, we're an educational company, so I like to run this as if we're in a classroom. So I won't be able to even see your questions if you happen to write them down. The, the most popular question I'll answer right now, and, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. All of our presentations are recorded. So as you see there in the chat box, we have an email address as well as a phone number. You can contact us and request a link for this particular recording. But if you have any questions concerning what we're going over today, just kindly write them down or just uh, you know try to remember them, and we'll get to them in just about 20, 25 minutes from now when the presentation has concluded. I also would like to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle at SPC, L-S-T-T-R-A-D-G, abbreviation for Specialist Trading. We post a lot of great free information from time to time. We tell you uh, current positions we are in. We also give you daily financial wisdom. So there's a lot of great stuff that you can see. In fact, I posted something uh, of one of the tools we're going to be using today. I posted it as it applied to the uh, E-mini S&P. So I'm going to share a lot of information with you today and a lot of that also is shared on Twitter. So I invite you to follow us at SPCLSTTRADG. Okay, so just a little philosophy about specialist trading. As I said, we are first and foremost an educational company. And why do we focus so much on education? Well, it's mainly because I struggled tremendously in my first year or two of trading. So I know exactly what many of you are perhaps going through. I know it can be tremendously frustrating and very discouraging to put so much time and effort and work into trying to be a, a successful trader and to not see anything uh, come to come to or reap out of all your hard work, see anything come to fruition. So uh, my mentors finally uh, took control of, of my trading and they said, Stephen, listen, you've got to really change your entire way of thinking around, simplify your trading and quit relying on outside sources. Just be able to look at a few uh, very simple basic tools, indicators. Don't focus so much on uh, outside news sources or who's saying what on TV or at the time we didn't have trading rooms or chat rooms, but we had newsletters and I focused a lot on those. And once I started just slowly but surely stripping these away and saying just yes to being simple in my trading, I started to become consistent. So this is what I teach all of my students and this is what I teach all of my members in our courses is that the key is really to consistency is really to keep things as simple as possible. What we want to do, the two-step approach that we have at, at Specialist Trading, our, our two-concept approach is simply find the trend which we do with some proprietary tools. And then once we found the trend, we simply look for consolidation patterns or pullback patterns in order to enter. And that's it. We never try to pick tops and bottoms. Trust me, I know that's a recipe for disaster. We never try to go off a news event. We don't care what's saying in the news. Many times we're in before the news happens and we're on the right side just by simply listening to the market. My mentors taught me that everything you need to know is in front of you. So what they basically were saying was that all you need to know is already in the chart. It's already right there. The only thing you have to do is learn how to read it. You have to learn to see what it's saying. 
So, so many of us would rather get a quick fix and say, well, what does this guy say in the chat room? What does he say in the trading room? Or what are they saying on TV? Uh, rather than do that, learn to listen to the simplest thing, which is the market, and then just take your signals from that. And so that's what we teach. We teach you how to do that. And I'm going to show you how to really put it together very simply in today's presentation with consolidation pattern. Now, this is a simple entry technique. It's not a full-fledged strategy or system. It's just an entry technique. But you'll see how powerful it is. And then you can put something together to actually begin trading it if you'd like. All right. So remember, once again, before we go into what you're going to be learning today, for those of you who may have just joined us, if you happen to have any questions, I'll just say it once again, yes, this is being recorded. That's our most popular question. But the main thing is that if you have a question, if something didn't make sense or, or you just didn't understand it, kindly just write it down and try to remember it. And we'll answer it at the very end of today's presentation. Okay. All right. So. What are you going to learn today in today's class? Well, I'm going to talk about a short-term trend detector. Remember we stated that all we try to do at Specialist Trading is find the trend and then jump on board. We never try to tell the market what it's going to do. We always want to go with the market. Uh, we want to, that's, that's going to give you that higher level of consistency. So I'm going to tell you about a great proprietary tool we have that tells you in advance many times what the overall trend is going to be. And I'll show you a lot of different examples of that uh, short-term trend identifier. And then we'll put it together with a consolidation entry. All right. So in order to, to have some type of entry or some type of consolidation pattern, we first need to have a trend. And then the market kind of consolidates or coils. And then we, most of the time, bust out of that little consolidation. But we have to refine it a little bit better than just looking for little stops, fits, and starts. We have to see some type of pattern, and we have to have some type of entry process. So I'll show you a great technique for that. And then at the very end of today's presentation, I'll tell you about a great two-for-one attendee special. Okay. The first thing we want to talk about is finding the trend. The best way we know how to find the short-term trend, not the overall trend, but the very short-term trend, is what we call the pet D or the Primo Early Trend Detector. This is something that was introduced to me on the floor of the Stock Exchange. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange some uh, 35 years ago. And this is what was introduced to me on the floor. But the only trouble was I had to calculate this by hand. We didn't have high-speed computers. We didn't have programmers then. So I could only use this for daily bars. But now that we do have programmers and high-speed computers, we can simply put this together and use it for anything. We can use it for a tick chart. We can use it for a monthly bar. And all it is is a proprietary color bar algorithm. Okay? And when I say proprietary, it's proprietary. I'm sorry. We can't really divulge the rules because this is used by hedge funds uh, around the world that are uh, subscribing to us. This is also being used by people such as yourself that just trade for a living. So we want to just keep it in-house with, with uh, the, the, uh, the people at Specialist Trading. So it's proprietary. But it's extremely simple to use. And what we do is we color the bars. If you see a series of green bars, such as this ideal scenario right here, it's telling you, obviously, you're in a short-term uptrend. That's how simple it is. And conversely, if you see a series of red bars, it's just saying you're in a short-term downtrend. So that's, that's really basic. It is really simple. But the beauty of the PET-D, as you see here, is that it tells you which direction you should be trading. As we look at this example in Alcoa, which goes up until the beginning of August. And you see all the bars are green, so it's telling us all the way since the end of May into June that we are in a short-term uptrend. Now, once you know that trend or that direction, then you can apply any strategy. That's the beauty of this. It doesn't mean that, uh, well, we have to just buy the minute we see a green bar. You can wait until a strategy that you feel comfortable with. Let's even say it's based off the news, even though we don't have strategies that are based off news events. Let's say you do have one that you really like, but sometimes it doesn't work that great. Well, all you have to know is if you really think that the news gave you a bullish signal and all the bars are green, well, then go for it because the pet D is confirming that. Now, one thing we have to tell you, the pet D is not an indicator, nor is it a strategy. It's a unique color bar tool based on momentum that is designed to show you in advance, and I, I really stress in advance, when a trend has most likely begun. That is the beauty of this short-term tool, because it will tell you in advance many times when a trend has begun, when you don't even feel it or see it, or there's nothing to justify that a trend has begun. In fact, let me show you some examples going back over a year. This was the first one in Tesla. NBC News reported that uh, the electric car maker Tesla device 
skeptics. Just, just real briefly, in May of 2013, the California electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla reported this past week its first ever profit of $11.2 million as sales in its Model S sedan, sedan outpaced even its own optimistic expectations. So this is great news if we're thinking about uh, purchasing the stock Tesla. So what most people do is when they see good news like this, they'll simply jump in and buy all right, off that news. Now if we look at the chart here, and we see that's when the earnings report or the news was uh, established right here sometime in May, May 13th, I believe. Now we've applied the Pet D to this chart. And if we look back all the way back to March and April, the Pet D was giving us signs that we were already in an uptrend. So there was no reason to wait for any news to tell us. We could have applied a strategy some 40 points earlier. Once you get three to five consecutive bars in, a, in the same color, you're pretty much going to be in that trend. That's how powerful this tool is. So we knew uh, a good one, two months in advance that Tesla was in an uptrend. There was no reason to be short or think that this stock wasn't going to be doing anything. How about another example? Roughly about a year ago, Yahoo Finance reported that Facebook shares jumped 28%. Wall Street sees more added growth. So Facebook shares opened up 28% higher on Thursday after the company reported a huge jump in its mobile advertising revenue. So this is great news once again. A lot of people that were sitting on the fence thinking of purchasing, uh, uh, I should say, Facebook uh, on this Yahoo News may have jumped in saying, this is great, I'm going to buy. And that wouldn't have been a bad thing, but look at what you would have missed. Okay, if we look back here in hindsight, before the news came out, we see that as early back as the end of uh, June, beginning of July, we had this consistency in green telling us that we were already in an uptrend. You see, before that, the majority of the bars were all red. You had a little splash here of green, but you need to have anywhere from three to five bars of the same color in order to tell you that you have a trend established. Well, that didn't happen until roughly July, all right? And then look at that, 10 points in advance of this great jump that happened in Facebook. So we're not telling you that once a bar changes color for three or four bars to simply buy, but you could have uh, used, I see here a couple of uh, uh, strategies that would have generated buy signals in Facebook, just looking at that portion that was colored in green that uh, we have here that all of our members are privy to. And then lastly, I want to show you something a little bit more current. Uh, this was just a month or two ago. Uh, USA Today reported that open shares opened up 33 points on a buyout from uh, Priceline. All right, so this was great news, uh, especially for those people who had been long open table. If you were long already, this was great. If you were short, well, I'm sorry, that was tough news for you because the, the stock was getting bought out and you had to cover much higher and you were having a difficult time. Or let's say you were thinking about getting long. You were on the sidelines. You were waiting to see that it was really going to move up and you missed the boat because it gapped up 33 points. Well, if we look at the chart here, we see here's where the stock gapped up on the 13th off of that news. And coming into that news, the stock was really doing nothing. It was in a range. If we just look off site value, someone would have said, well, there's nothing really happening in open table, so there's no reason for me to pursue it or research it. Well, that's not really true because if we had applied the pet D, as we see here, we see the, the bar started turning green a good three weeks prior to that announcement, telling you that you could have jumped in on any number of signals, or even if you were just thinking about purchasing open, this was the time to do it. And it gave you that warning 35 points in advance of the news. So this is what's so important about the Pet D. It's not just simply enough to tell you that what trend we're in, which is great. It gives you this uh, insight as to what the trend is going to be ultimately. It, has you the, it gives you this advanced warning many times. It's not gonna, I'm not going to tell you that's a 100% guarantee on everything, but many times you'll know in advance before a trend or even some news announcement will come out. This is the beauty of this specific trend identifier tool. Okay, now as we stated, we need, in order to trade consolidation patterns, we need to know what the trend is. You can't just say, well, there's a consolidation, I'm going to buy or sell. We need to see an already established trend, and then we have to look for a specific consolidation pattern and then jump on board when it breaks out. So let's talk about the advantages to using the PET-D. It gives you that advanced security of trading in sync with the current trend, which we talked about. Another thing which we have in the course for the PET-D is that it can be applied as a stop placement method, which is which is another uh, webinar in and of itself, but it supplies you with numerous trading techniques that are based on the color bars, and these are basically trading entries. 
These are not full-fledged strategies, but trading entries. So let's talk about one for consolidation patterns. Now, we realize many of you may not really know what a consolidation pattern is. You've never really traded this, or maybe you only uh, basically invest off fundamental news. You, you've never heard of this term before. But a consolidation pattern is a pattern which breaks out in the direction of the previously, previously established trend. So you see we have to have a trend that's already in place. It's also called many times a continuation pattern. You're basically just continuing what you were doing before. You had a, either an uptrend or a downtrend. You stop for a while, and then you're continuing in that direction. So let's look at trading technique A. Now, this is uh, one of our basic techniques in the course, the PET D course for trading consolidation. I'm going to share it with you today. And remember, this is just a technique for entry. We're not going to give you the full rules for stop placement. We're not going to tell you where to exit because that would be fair to the people that have paid a lot of money for our courses and our information and our archive videos, which teach a lot of this information. But we'll show you how to spot these, okay? All right, the requirements for this is you basically just need the pet D and an inside day bar pattern. Now, what is an inside day bar pattern? It's a two bar pattern. Inside days are days where the chart bar has a lower high and a higher low than that of the previous day. So what does that look like on a chart? It looks like this. You see it's just two bars. It doesn't matter if these bars are five minutes each or if they're hourly bars or weekly bars. But what you want to see is bar number one and bar number two. And you want to see that the second bar in the pattern has a lower high than bar number one and has a higher low than bar number two. This means it's inside the range of the previous bar. Okay, this is why we call it an inside day. But it can be an inside five-minute time frame. It can be an inside uh, uh, hourly bar. And many times, it doesn't even have to be a lower high. It can be as high or equal to, all right? It's still inside the range. So what is the buy pattern we're looking for? We want to look for both bars of an inside day pattern to be colored green. This is your signal that a quick upward momentum movement may be in place, so it may continue. So this is what we want to see. Once we've applied the PET-D, we want to see that they're both green. Why? Because the PET-D is telling us we're most likely going higher. We're in an uptrend. We've just stopped for a couple of bars, and then we're most likely going to go higher. How about a sell pattern? Well, we just want to do the reverse. We want to look for both bars of an inside day pattern to be colored red. This is your signal that, the quick down, that a quick downward move, momentum movement may continue. So we just want to see this now. It's the same pattern, an inside day, but we want to see the bars red because the PET-D is confirming that we're most likely going lower. So let's look at some stocks and ETFs to show you how this works and just show you how, how powerful combining trend with this consolidation pattern works. All right, here's a, a relatively current chart in SNDK going all the way up to the, about the, uh, a month or so ago. Uh, as we see here, obviously, we're in an uptrend, okay? We don't need the PET-D to tell us that. But if we apply the PET-D, which you see here, all the bars are green. So, so obviously, we've known since uh, February, May, or March, I should say, March, May, that we are in an uptrend. Why? Because the PET-D is green. Now, if we look for all the bars that were inside day bars, look at all the chances you had to simply buy at those points and then wait for the rally to continue. You see how simple this is. Why? Because you have the confidence of knowing you're in an uptrend and you're using a, a valid consolidation pattern. All right? Each one of these circles here circled the two bar inside day pattern. How about SLV? This is the um, ETF for silver. Okay. Now obviously we're looking back here to uh, the end of July all the way up until this past week. Silver has been in a downtrend. The PET D has been colored red. So you have the confidence of knowing that you are in a secure downtrend until you get a confluence of green bars. Now, all we have to do on these daily bars is simply look for inside patterns and look at all the chances you could have had to go short silver. Without the advent of any news of what's going on worldly or economically, without worrying about earnings, without worrying about anything that someone's saying in a chat room or a trading room, you're just looking and listening to the most important thing, which is the chart in front of you. Remember, my mentors taught me the same thing. I was fighting and pushing this like and resisting this like anyone would. I, I, I couldn't believe it. That's, I said, I don't have to listen to news. I don't have to you know, have all these uh, subscriptions to all these newsletters and watch TV and wait for earnings. And they said, why? I mean, we've been trading for 30 or 40 years. We don't concern ourselves with those. So why should you? 
So I simply slowly but surely started to let go of those things and I started to become consistent. Now you see here, the pet D is telling us we're in a short-term downtrend. So you have step number one, uh, uh, it's, it, the requirement is filled. Now all we need to do is look for those uh, inside days. And then once uh, we see those, those are our, our uh, entry patterns. How about ROST? Okay, this is going up until this past week as well. All the bars have been colored green since uh, the end of July going into August. If we want to look for consolidation patterns, look at all these chances we had simply buy here. Okay, and I know a lot of you are saying, well, Steve, where do I enter? Where do I exit? Remember, that's a full-fledged strategy. I can't give you all the rules. We give you a number of techniques in the courses and our archive videos, which you learn a lot of different things how to place your stops, different stop levels. But just look, I'm, I'm sure, once again, we want to put this information in your hands and then we want you to run with it. We don't want to tell you this is the way you've got to trade it. If you want to trade it at the close of the second bar, that's fine. If you want to wait till it trades above the high, go ahead, that's fine. Either way, you've got the odds already in your favor. Where do you want to get out? Do you want to get out on the first close above the two bar pattern? That's fine. You're going to make money. Do you want to hold off and, and give yourself three to one risk reward ratio? Fine. Go, go, go for it. You see, you have to become a part of the process. You know, so many traders uh, always ask me in these webinars, well, where do I get out? Where do I place my stop? We teach you these things in the course, but we want you ultimately to decide what's the best course for you. Uh, this also applies to uh, to crude oil, as we see here, this is a, a daily chart of the crude oil uh, future here. As we can see, we are in a downtrend where all the bars are red. Then we had a, a kind of a uh, anemic little bounce here where the bars turned green, but then we got back on course and turned red again. So this was really just a bounce or a pullback until we resumed the trend. But looking at daily bars, if we see in the green, there was really there were really no inside days, so we couldn't take advantage of going long. But if we wanted to just take advantage of one crude oil was red, well, we had a number of times to go short. And, you know, each one of these sell-offs would have produced roughly about a point or so had you held on for a while. How about the E-mini S&P? Well, let's look at some smaller time frames. Let's look at a $2,500 tick or 2500 tick, I should say, on the 15th of August, which was just a few weeks ago. We had a, not a very impressive bounce here off the beginning of the day. We had uh, the majority of the bars green and then coming into the end of the first hour or two we turned all red. So if we wanted to use this continuation technique we see here that we had some signals here but they wouldn't have produced that much. So this was kind of giving you a signal that there's really not a lot of oomph on this upside. And so you probably would have made that good of money on this technique in this would range. But once we change to the downside, you would have made it all back and then some by using this same technique. How about a, an hourly chart, a 60-minute chart, the E-mini going back to starting at the 18th, which was just last Monday, coming into the 21st, which was a week ago. We see here that we're obviously in an uptrend. The pet D had told you that in advance. We look for consolidation patterns. You could have ridden this all the way up this nice rally we had here last week in the markets. How about a 10 minute time frame? Okay, well there's a 10 minute uh, chart of the E-mini on the uh, 19th, which was this last Tuesday. Obviously the entire day we were up until the last, I'd say 30 minutes of the day here. But while we were going up, look at all the chances you had to enter on a 10 minute time frame. And then lastly, this works on the forex markets. We're not going to just say it works for stocks or works for a certain time frame for E-minis. It also works in the forex markets. If you look at a monthly chart of the Euro Yen, which has obviously been going up since last year, all the way up into 2012 actually. We look back, all the bars have been green coming into 2014 and we had three really nice places to get in just using this simple continuation pattern. Not looking at what's going on worldly or with currencies or what's going on uh, you know, with currency pairs and, and fundamental news. Just looking at the simple consolidation pattern, you would have had uh, some major uh, profit here just taking these three signals. How about the British pound? This is a, a recent chart of the British pound. Obviously, it's in a downtrend. A down, uh, trend. All the bars have been red since the end of July coming into this week in August rather than look at any fundamental news or earnings or what's going on economically all we have to do is know that the pet D is telling us 
until we get a confluence of green bars, we're going to stay short the British pound, and we just look for these consolidation patterns. Extremely simple to use. All right, so let's recap. I shared with you a simple trading technique, an entry technique, using the PET-D that pinpoints quick momentum moves in any direction and in any time frame. We just didn't show you some buy setups. We also showed you shorting setups as well, not only for stocks, but also for the Forex currency pairs, as well as the E-mini, different time frames, different directions. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, well, hey, great. He taught a great class, but now that I, I understand this, I know how to figure it out already. Why do I need to become a member of the course? Because I've already got it all. In other words, someone could say, looking at this older chart of CRM, they could say, well, it's plain to see that we are in a downtrend. So I've already established that we're going lower. I don't need the pet D to tell me that. And I have an inside bar pattern, two bar pattern right here. All right. So all I have to do is sell this. Why? Because I'm in sync with the trend. And most likely, we're going to be headed lower. Okay, so let's say you sold it. Look what happened. All right. Now, why did that go up? Well, all we have to do is apply the pet D. Remember, if we wanted this to go lower, both bars would have had to have been colored red. If we apply the pet D, we see that the first bar in the pattern was colored red, but the second bar was colored green. Therefore, you would not have taken this signal. That's why the PET-D is so important as a tool to have in your arsenal because it really helps you get in sync with the short-term trend. And then if you had the PET-D, had you simply waited, you would not have taken this losing trade, but you may have taken this winning trade where we had another inside bar a week later and they were both colored green and you could have reaped all these gains right here. So that's why the PET-D is so important when you need it in terms of really determining the trend. It's not just enough to say, well, the stock or the future is going lower, so I know I'm in a downtrend, or it's going higher, so we must be in an uptrend. That may work for a while, but in certain instances like this, uh, you'll really lose a lot of money because the PETI would have given you advanced warning whether or not to take the signal. And this just doesn't work with this particular setup. It can work with any strategy that you may have. It can work with any other technique that we teach in the course. It's a great, great tool. We can use it not only for a trend filter, but also for a, a confirming tool or a validation tool. Now, points to remember before we close here. Remember, this is not a complete strategy. I just showed you an entry technique. All right. In order to have a complete step strategy, you need to have X exit targets. You can't just, you know, just say, well, okay, I know where to get in and I'll figure that out later. You have to know about stop placement. You have to know about money management. How many shares or contracts should you purchase? Where should I place my stop? Where should I exit? Now we teach all of this in the course, we give you many variables of where to place your exit, where to place your stops, how many uh, different money management plans to use in, in order to determine what share or position size you should have. These are all in our courses. So what we share with you is a great entry technique. Once again, you can start applying this as soon as you'd like, and you can use your own exit, your own uh, entry plan, and your own stop placement. But if you do need some type of strategy, I want to share for you, with you just for a few moments a great special we have. This is a two-for-one attendee special that you can apply with the pet D. This is one, probably one of our most consistent strategies. It's strategy number four. It's a great strategy because it works in any market and any time frame. Let's say you not only trade the E-minis, but you also trade stocks. Well, you can apply the same strategy, the same rules to both. So you're getting basically two-for-one along with the pet D. And also, one of the best things about the PETD, as I stated, it's a great confirmation tool. Let me show you how well this works. These were current signals that strategy number four generated in Amgen. All right? These were all buy signals that the strategy uh, generated and most of our members would have taken that were in the course. Now, we see here there are three signals all right, going back to the end of July into the second week of August. Two of them worked out great, these two here, but the first one didn't work out very well. All right, so how could we have applied a filter to at least filter out those bad signals as best as possible? Well, we applied the PET D. And what we want to see is when the, we get a signal to either buy or sell, we want the PET D to confirm it. So if we get a buy signal, all the colors should be green. In other words, on that signal date. So if we apply the PET D, we see that these signals that worked out, the bars were green, as well as this bar right here. But coincidentally, the signal that did not work out was colored red. So you would have completely bypassed this signal in Amgen 
Why? Because the PET-D did not confirm it with the short-term trend bias, okay? And remember, this can work in virtually any strategy you have. It doesn't have to be strategy number four, but strategy number four is a really consistent strategy. Here's another signal in HAS. Okay, as we see here, going back this past month, we had two shorting signals. Now, the very first one did not work out well. You would have shorted and ultimately got stopped out with a small loss. But the second signal would have worked out very nicely, depending on how long you wanted to stay in the trade. Well, how could we have at least bypassed the losing trade if we could? When we apply the PET D, both of those sell signals should be colored red by the PET D. Well, see, the first one here was colored green. Therefore, the PET D was telling you that you were still in a short-term uptrend, which you were. But the second one was colored red, giving you the confirmation to take the signal, and you would have reaped the benefits from that. So you would have bypassed this and used this one. Another great way to use the PET-D is as a confirmation tool for the market, for a market bias. We see here we have a chart of the industrial average going into the beginning of August. Now these are all signals that were generated by strategy number four. This is why we share with you what a consistent strategy this is. I just shared with you two stocks as well as the index of the Dow Jones Industrial, how well it works. So you see here that we have four, or I should say, well, four signals, but three that worked out very nicely. Now, all these were buy signals, so therefore they should all be colored green. This one was, and we had a nice rally in the market. This one was as well, and it worked out well. And so was this one. So you could have used these as a market bias rather than, you know, simply purchase an option or a future on the market. You could have said, well, uh, if strategy four is given a buy signal and it's generated, uh, then that gives me the freedom to buy something else that I know I've been looking at. Whereas on this last signal that was generated, guess what? The bar was colored red by the PET-D. So the PET-D was telling us that the trend was most likely over, that we shouldn't be in this signal and we shouldn't take this trade. And it was a good thing we didn't because look what happened. So do you see how the PET-D tells you in, many times in advance of an oncoming trend? So that's the beauty of this great tool. You can use this as a, a validation tool, a confirmation tool, a trend filter, anything you'd like with any strategy or any technique that you currently use. So we feel it works best as a one-two punch, as a two-for-one combo when applied with strategy number four, because strategy number four uh, is our most popular strategy. We have the most people purchasing strategy number four. They feel the most confident. There's a lot of great testimonials concerning strategy number four. Now, once you sign up for this combo, you get instant course access, detailed instruction. It's on, all an online course, so you don't have to wait for anything to be shipped to you. It all comes automatically online. You can start uh, researching and, and uh, watching the videos as early as today. We share with you all the different types of entries, exits, and stops, and then you can decide which way you want to trade, all right, conservatively or aggressively. Uh, we give you signal alerts, all right. This means up and down arrows when a signal is generated. All of these add-ons that come with this, in other words, you also get the pet D, which colors the bars red or green, and then access to my personal email. So if you have any questions, if something doesn't make sense, you can always contact me, and I'll get back to you just as soon as possible. Now, normally, if we put these two together, just sold them separately, it would cost upwards of $2,000. That's how valuable these are. We've discounted the price today for all the people coming in and watching this today down 25% down to $1,495. And we also have payment plans available. So if you're really interested on taking your trading to the next level using these two great techniques together in one combo at a great price, I strongly urge you and suggest you take advantage of that deep discount we're having for you today. And we have payment plans. We realize that some of you cannot come up with that one lump sum. So feel free to contact any one of our trading consultants and they can uh, put together some type of trading plan for you so you can be paying monthly and still be able to get all the information as soon as possible. So for more information, this is how you can contact us. You can contact our sister site, which is Pro Trader Strategies. Uh, they are the company which market and promote all of my strategies and my techniques. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you can contact any one of their trading consultants at trading at protraderstrategies.com or simply call them directly at area code 310-598-6677. I want to thank you all so much for waiting. I told you this wouldn't be very long. Let me open up the question and answer box, and I will answer any questions that you may have concerning uh, what we just went over. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
I'm going to ask, Steve, do you offer some sort of a free trial or how does one see it in action before purchasing the program? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, we don't have a free trial because as you see, when we everything is in an online course and we just divulge everything. We open everything up for you. We share everything for you so that you know all the rules right off the bat. And uh, what you're really getting is 37 plus years of experience and trading which I've accumulated and all the things which I personally use. And as uh, a lot of people have stated, you can't unlearn that. So once you learn it, uh, it's yours for life. So we, we uh, a lot of people say, well, is there a free trial? Well, once you get all the information, you could basically just memorize it and then say, well, okay, I want my money back. So that's why, I'm sorry, we don't, we really, uh, our word our, is, is, and our integrity is really what we stand by. So uh, you can do a Google search on us. You can see all the happy, satisfied people that have used our products and, uh, you know, have that have at least gotten some measure of consistency. Okay, let me see what else here. Donald asks, uh, entries are great, but I've heard many times that exits are more important. Do you, uh, do any of your webinars discuss exits? That's a good point, Donald. Uh, you know, I, I've tended to stay away from exits, and the only reason why is because if I do, I'm giving away a lot of free information that's in the course, and it wouldn't be fair to a lot of our members that have paid hundreds of dollars for this information. Once again, all of that is supplied in the course. Uh, maybe if there's a way I can just maybe give away one of the techniques, it, it would be uh, there. But uh, I, I stated a few just off the top of my head. If we were looking at this specific technique, a very simple way to trade this would simply be to wait for, if you were, had a buy signal, you know, you could use any technique you wanted. Once you had the confirmation of the pet D as well as the inside day pattern. You could simply buy at the market or at the close of that bar, or you could wait for confirmation or wait for it to trade one tick above the high of the two bar pattern. And then once you've entered, the first close above the high of the two bar pattern is your exit. All right. Or you could say, uh, you know, uh, it could be two closes above your exit, the first two profitable closes above your exit. This is one way in which to, to use that particular pattern. Okay. Because as you've seen many times, You'll get some tremendous runs on these things, and the first couple of days will be tremendous to the upside or downside if you're going short. But then also many times it'll be kind of a, a whipsaw pattern where you'll get in, it'll go up for a couple of days and come back down. So uh, this is a, a nice technique to use. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Steve, I thought we only wanted to take trades that pulled back to the 50 SMA. Uh, GW, no, that's actually that's a technique okay that that is a technique that's also applied to many of our strategies but this is not something that we also have to to use in this remember we're using consolidation and consolidation calls for an already established trend that kind of coils up or consolidates just kind of you know meshes up together and then breaks out so if we're just consolidating or coiling we won't have time to pull back so what we're looking for in our philosophy at Specialist Trading, we're looking to capture trend, which we do very greatly with the PET D, and then we're looking for either a consolidation or a pullback uh, for an entry type of strategy. Now, when we're looking for a pullback, yes, we can apply and wait for price to come back to the PET D. It's not required, but that's just one of the techniques we teach in our courses. Okay? Hope that answers your question. Uh, Mike states, on an inside trade bar signal, does the whole range have to be within the high low of the previous day? Yes. In other words, an inside day is a two bar pattern. The range is established off of the first bar, okay, the high low. What we mean by range is not the open close range, which you see in a candlestick, but the extreme high and low, meaning the high of the day and the low of the day if we're looking at daily bars. All right. Now, the second bar, the second bar in that pattern can either be inside that first bar's range or equal to, okay? I just showed you inside there just to make it simpler for those people who aren't familiar with it. But it can also be equal to the uh, bar number one's range. But when we're talking about range, we're not talking about the open and close range. We're talking about the high, the extreme high, and the extreme low. That is what's commonly referred to as really as range. I know a lot of people like to look at where we opened and where we closed as a range. That's just the body of a candle. That is not the range of the trading day. Okay. Uh, John is asking, oh, John, Ichiba, John is a good friend of ours. He used to work with John. He's a great trader, and I believe he trades the, the Russell uh, 2000. Uh, 
<laughs> what if I buy you a beer? Can you get me the pet D? Uh, John, we'll have to work on that. That's something we'd have to see here. Uh, that's a, I don't know if I can, uh, we'd have to run that through Pro Trader Strategies and Brett. Yeah, uh, Brett would have to uh, decide that. John is someone I worked with before when I was at uh, uh, trading markets. Uh, he, he used to trade the, I don't know, he, he, I think he still does the Russell 2000. He's a great trader and a great friend. And uh, uh, he can attest to how long I've been trading and the, uh, this is the, 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 the kind of sincerity I have in trading because he was right alongside of me when I was mentoring other people there as well. Um, Elvis says, what makes some bars green and others red? Is it the close above the open or is it the volume? Well, Elvis, remember we stated at the very beginning, this is a proprietary tool. So proprietary means we're keeping it in-house. But I can tell you one thing, it's not based on volume. And it's not based on where we open and close the previous bar. It's the only clue I can give you. It's based off of momentum because that's really what we're trying to capture. And it's a, a it's a formula that needs to be calculated. And it's not that difficult, but it's something that has to be memorized and put together. The only trouble was, is that uh, it's too difficult to be putting together every five minutes if you're looking at five minute bars, or even more difficult if you're looking at tick bars. So we could never use it on the floor of the exchange for intraday trading. We could only use it for day bars. At the end of the day, we'd figure out the calculation and then figure out what the bar was for the next day. Well, now we've been able to calculate on each and every bar. We just simply color it green or red. But it's based off of momentum. We have, as I stated, hedge fund managers that trade this. We also have people such as yourself that just started trading possibly. And we have seriously considered uh, uh, putting this into some type of leasing form. So in the next year, in 2015, we may go to the a format where we lease this every six months, possibly every quarter. So that's the beauty of this great two-for-one combo deal, which we're advertising today, because once you own it at this discount price, you're not only going to own strategy number four, which is a great strategy in itself, you're also going to own the pet D, and you own it for life, and you own it at a 25% discount. So it's yours for good, whereas... A year from now, we may be asking for people to pay a subscription price or a leasing price every quarter or perhaps every six months. So that's why we want to keep it in-house because it, it, it's that popular and we feel it's that, it's that powerful, okay? But it's not based on any volume. In fact, personally, I never look at volume. Even when I'm trading stocks, I don't look at volume at all. And it's not based on where price was as opposed to the opening or close or whatever you were stating, okay? Um, Norm asks, which charting software does the indicator work on? Great question. As you can see here, it works on Metastock, MT4, TradeStation, MultiCharts, and NinjaTrader. Now, also, if you're a Thinkorswim member, you can also have, uh, uh, you can also apply it by getting the NinjaTrader application for free, and then you just simply run it on there, okay, and any one of our strategies. So uh, it can also be applied with Thinkorswim, but you just have to, uh, you know, get the NinjaTrader, which comes free, I believe, with Thinkorswim. But those are the four major uh, charting platforms, and we've had great success. We also have a great uh, tech support. We help you set it up on your particular platform. I know a lot of people will say, boy, I just don't understand how to do this stuff, though. I've never really applied add-ons or things of that nature. We have people, you just simply talk to them over the phone, and they can have you uh, set up in just a matter of minutes. So uh, it's very simple. Uh, so Richard asked, does it work on Thinkorswim? Yes, it does. You just simply have to get the Ninja Trader. Uh, application. Um, Shekhar asks, how does Pet D select which stocks are moving up or down? Well, first of all, it doesn't select anything. It's just once you apply the formula, it tells you if it's in an uptrend or a downtrend. It applies to anything. So it doesn't select anything. It just tells you if you're in a short-term uptrend or a short-term downtrend. And then once again, let's say you say, well, Steve, you know, strategy four is good and I use it every once in a while. And so I have no complaints, but I really love the strategy I use. Fantastic. You'll not only get strategy four, but you'll get to apply it to pet D. And I can almost, you know, I can't guarantee, but I can almost promise you that you really increase your consistency because now you'll take the signals in your own strategy that are in sync with the pet D. So if you look back, you may be able to see that a lot of the times you lost with a particular strategy was because maybe you were buying and the pet D colored all the bars red and vice versa. So uh, that's the beauty of this. Uh, Zoltan asks, uh, you can always do a trailing stop for targets. Yes, that's another way too. And also we, we share that in the course. We share with you how to do that using the pet D. That's also in the pet D course. One of the beautiful things about the pet D as well is we have four different trading techniques in the course. Now, these are not strategies with full-fledged exits and stops, 
but there are different techniques such as I share with you today. One of them is the one I shared with you today. We have two consolidation pattern techniques. We also have two pullback techniques. So we have a lot of great free information that's included in the course that can help you trade the pet D. You can also use it as a stop placement, a trailing stop. So it's, it, there's multiple uses with, with this uh, combo deal. Um, let's see, Roger asks, Steve, is, is TradeView.com or Big Charts a platform available for strategy four? Uh, as you can see here, the, the good uh, people, our operations manager is answering, Roger, it works on MT4, TradeStation, MultiCharts, and NinjaTrader. Uh, but uh, I'm really not sure about uh, trading view or uh, big charts, okay? Let me see if we can get some more questions here. Uh, oh, John is saying that he trades uh, crude oil and gold. It's great. Well, you can see there, I didn't have a gold example, John, but I had the crude oil example as well. I, show, uh, I showed silver, which gold uh, doesn't run par for par with that, but it can be applied great. I mean, it's really, it's really good in determining the trend. So uh, anything you use, you, uh, you know, to trade, whether you're intraday trading or trading positions. I, I showed you the monthly chart of the Euro Yen. Now, I know you may not trade currency pairs, but the monthly charts, uh, it works just as well. So it's a great, great tool for applying for any, any time frame. Um, Roger uh, says, I'm a Strategy 4 member, still uh, applying for Pet D, but all those platforms are very expensive to use and don't really want to invest in them. Well, Roger, I'm sorry to hear that. I know, uh, you know, uh, I think you may want to uh, talk to uh, any of the people, maybe your trading consultant at uh, ProTrader Strategies, because there may be some specials with some of these platforms from time to time uh, where they have uh, special discounts, I know because we, we deal with them, and I believe NinjaTrader may even be having something special. So I would uh, contact your trading consultant, okay, uh, because there are a lot of uh, different ways to get around these expensive costs. Uh, let's see, Shekhar is asking, does it select which stocks have a continuation pattern up and down? Uh, no, you see, because that is one of the things that we teach uh, uh, with the course. Now, if you're asking in terms of, you know, uh, uh, actual buy and sell arrows for those inside bars, if, if that's what you're asking. Uh, uh, let me see. I believe they are only on MT4, as we see here on the right. Uh, I believe just for MT4, we have those specific buy and sell arrows. But trust me when I say this, when we're looking at continuation patterns and inside bars, after a week or two of, of just going through the course, you'll be able to spot them in a second, especially if you're looking at daily bars. It's just so simple. You'll just, you know, you'll have all night to decide, well, this is a, a, a continuation pattern or it's a, it's a two bar pattern. It's very simple to spot. So you won't have trouble. I know a lot of people have asked this in the past. Well, will you be giving buy and sell arrows for these? Um, I believe we just have it for MT4, but other than that, uh, you know, it's something that most of our students have had no problem with spotting on their own. Um, Brad is asking, did you work with Ken Houston during uh, your years at the Pacific Stock Exchange? Hi, Brad. Uh, well, the, Ken, I don't know, the name doesn't sound familiar. I was on the floor from 1977 to 1994. So if he was there during that time, I uh, probably did know him. But I know there was a good 200, 250 people on the floor. So sometimes it was tough to know everybody. But uh, if he was there during that period, I probably did know him. I, I just uh, have forgotten. <laughs> um, Ama is asking, Steve, what's the duration of the course? Well, the course is an online course. So it's actually no duration. It's up to you. It's yours for good. In other words, this is not something that, uh, okay, it's a three-week-long course that you have to attend every or twice a week. It's an online course that is yours for life. So you can go back to it as often as you like. The thing that is lifetime is that once you purchase any of our courses, you are a student of mine for lifetimes. So you can always email me. So I don't want you to feel like, well, you know, I joined like three months ago and I, something isn't making sense, but uh, I, I've never contacted Steve. You can always contact me. And, and we give you our, my email address. You can contact me and ask me questions, even if you just need a refresher. I have students that have been trading for years that I don't hear from and then will come back and say, Steve, I, I came with an idea to trade strategy number four. What do you think of this? Or how do you think of this? Or does this uh, seem to have some consistency? It's, so far, it's working great. And so we just, uh, you know, talk about things for a while and, and talk about different ideas and concepts. So the course 
is yours for good. It's online. All you have to do is go to your computer and, and, uh, and watch the videos. And then ask me anytime you'd like uh, as long as possible, okay? Um, John is asking, Steve, do you uh, repeat partially or most of your techniques in all of your books or lessons? Uh, no, not, not everything is repeated because as we stated, we either trade uh, pullbacks or we trade consolidations. And many times, uh, I was just answering an email today where a person has two particular strategies and they said, why aren't you using the same technique in this, this second strategy? It's because I said, because it's a different strategy. It's built off a totally different uh, environment. We're looking for something entirely different. So we don't want to use the same technique. So all the techniques are not. So there is sometimes some overlap, but in terms of being the exact same strategies, no. Uh, we have strategies that are built off of uh, patterns. We have strategies that are built off of just maybe using one indicator. We have other strategies that are built off candlesticks. All right, so they're, they're all different and they're all used for different things. That's the beauty of it. We want to fit the strategy that best suits your needs. Some strategies are very aggressive. A strategy number six for the E-mini is a very aggressive strategy, but it's a very good strategy, but it's very aggressive. I wouldn't suggest this to a beginner trader to trade strategy six for E-mini. But I would suggest strategy number four because it's, it's a very uh, comfortable and moderate trading strategy, okay? Uh, someone trading the Forex, uh, I would probably suggest strategy number five. Totally different rules than strategy number four, okay? A uh, few things may overlap in terms of trend, but this is the beauty. There's always a lot of different things, and we want to fit it to meet your needs. It's been my experience that no two traders can trade alike. This is why we don't believe in trading rooms or chat rooms. This is why I don't want you to rely on signals that are generated. I want you to rely on your own trading decisions because I've known traders who have traded, who try to trade off the same signals and ultimately lose money. And they're getting the exact same signals. It's because everyone has a different temperament, either for risk or for entry or for exits. And so two traders can get the same signal and come up with entirely different scenarios, different results. So uh, there's no one way to trade something. The only problem is most people try to trade like someone in a trade room or what someone's telling them on TV. I give you all the information I've accumulated, put it all together, and format it to fit you so that you can feel comfortable. Because ultimately, if I gave you the strategy I traded and you didn't feel comfortable, you wouldn't make money even if, if I was successful at it and vice versa. If you had a winning strategy and I didn't feel comfortable trading it, I wouldn't make money. I guarantee I wouldn't because I, you have to feel comfortable when trading. Everyone trades different. So we have a number of different techniques and we don't just throw them to you and say, well, good luck deciding. We work with you and tell you what would probably best suit your needs. Okay. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Brad says, a card counter in blackjack. Oh, yes, he was the CEO. He was the president. Uh, he, this is going back to the question, did I know? I didn't know him personally, but I knew who he was. Yes, he was, he was actually one of the youngest uh, uh, CEOs and presidents of the exchange. Uh, yes, I remember him. He was only there for actually a short time, though. Um, uh, and Roger says, uh, this, is, uh, this is a great uh, thing. Roger is a great student of ours. He's a current strategy number four, relatively new to the strategy. But he says, I've been using strategy four for over a month or so, and I can spot the set of bars in seconds. See, thank you, Roger. That's the beauty of it, and that's what we're trying to convey in people. I mean, you can still get these add-ons which tell you when a buy or sell signal is generated. But trust me, after studying the material, some people it takes six months to really feel comfortable. Other people it takes two weeks. But after studying the material for a while, you can spot them in seconds, just as Roger's stating here, okay? And then with a little bit more experience, you'll be able to spot which ones are actually better signals than others. This is what we teach, and this is what I give in the archive videos that I have, which take your trading to the next level. Different techniques and what you should be looking for. And when I post signals, I try to teach people what to look for as opposed to say, take these signals on a nightly basis. Those are more for educational purposes to teach you what to look for, okay? So this is really what we're about. As I stated in the opening segment, we are an educational company. We are not at all anything like the companies that just produce signals and say, hey, trade these. You know, we're, we've got 200% uh, gains this year. We're not about that. Even though we have some great consistency and some great gains with all of our strategies, we're more about teaching you so that you can become comfortable and get on that road to consistency.
Okay, as we close up here towards the end, remember, here's the information you need. If you really want to take advantage of this powerful combo, I really suggest taking uh, uh, the uh, email address or calling us up directly in order to purchase that. Or if you see here on your chat box on the far right, there's the link. You can simply click that on and it will take you directly to get that uh, two-for-one attendee special. Remember, both of these things, if we sold them separately, they're so popular, it would probably cost you close to $2,000 or even over $2,000. We've dropped it down 25% down to $1,495, and the best thing is that we have payment plans. So even if that's too difficult for you to meet in one uh, lump sum, you can structure some type of payment plan with our consultants and they can work with you, okay? So I really want to thank you all for attending. I just want to take this last uh, question from Valerie. She says, I missed much of the webinar. Will it be available to review? Uh, yes. In fact, we have this uh, that is re being recorded. You can email or uh, contact by calling the number, and they will send you the link, okay? Brad is saying, I'm really enjoying Strategy 4 and the Pet D. Thank you so much, Brad. And uh, remember, it's all a process. It's not like uh, even myself. You don't get to a certain point and you graduate. And you say, well, I know it all. It's something that you continually have to monitor and stay in uh, you know, contact with, with the process. And this is what we do. And this is what I do with all of my students by mentoring them and, and staying in contact with them on a daily basis. Thank you so much for attending today. I really hope that you take advantage of this great two-for-one attendee special we have. And I look forward to all of you becoming students and members of mine at Specialist Trading. Thank you. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.